Greetings, humans. It is I. I am here. Don't, human, don't manhandle me. Do you mind? Honestly. Uh, anyway, welcome, everybody. I am here. It is Saturday. Oh, human, stop fidgeting. Oh, my word. It's quite tricky to get comfy, isn't it? Hey, we're very uncomfy today, aren't we? There we go. I think we're settled in now. Welcome all. It is Saturday. Uh, who would like to chat with me? Am I a bit low? I think we'll have to adjust this. I'm, I'm peering. Uh, hello, Ruth. Oh, Darth, Darth Tezuka, it's been a while. Hello. Uh, Angel Orange, you're now Ginger Nutters. <laughs> I, no comment. No comment. Uh, greetings, everybody. I am just going to adjust my little tripod thing. Uh, hello, Ace. Sorry, I'll be back in a second. There we go. Get this up right. Uh, how are we all? It's Saturday. Everything's getting darker and wintry. Spooky month is drawing to a close. Um, but that's good because that means it's bonfire night next. Yeah. Uh, Dark Lord tasks. Okay. <laughs> okay, Darth Zucker. I, I get it. I get it. Uh, I'm the same, constantly thinking about world domination. It's difficult. It's difficult. Uh, Ruth, Ruth, <laughs> if you think this is poorly organised, you, you have no idea, no idea what goes on behind the scenes. The human is all over the place at the moment. Seriously, it's terrifying. Um, anyway, <laughs> I mean, I'd, I'd almost be tempted to take the phone out of the tripod and just give you a little glimpse of some of the rest of this room, but but no, that would be mean. That would be mean. Uh, anyway, I, I, let me continue welcoming everybody. Um, Ace, you're hiding from the weather. It's, it's pretty uh, impressive up there. Yeah. Uh, has someone proofread the escape room? Now, everybody, the human has done next week's escape room. Uh, next week? Oh, steady on. Tomorrow's escape room, it's already done. Uh, and yeah, it doesn't mean that there's not massive plot holes. Uh, anyway, let me continue to welcome everybody. That's, uh, hello, Chloe. <laughs> uh, hello, Soul Monkey. Hey, Kyle. Hey, Skip. Uh, Apple user, you're here. Welcome. Uh, hello, Emma. Hello. Uh, and good morning, Miss Susie. Commence oozing. Right. Uh, yeah. So, yes, the escape room is ready to go. Uh, I think you're going to like it. I hope you are. Actually, no, I don't give a shit. That's, that's for Raz to deal with. It's not my problem. Um, <laughs> that's the sort of professionalism you want from me, right? What happens on a Sunday stays on a Sunday. What goes on in an escape room? Uh, well, actually, it does tend to overflow into everything else. But that's, 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 for, that's a tomorrow problem. So, uh, yes, the stickers... Our um, emotes for everybody who's a live sub. Don't forget there's a star on your screen somewhere if you want to become a live sub. Uh, and I'll sing to you. I know. I'll try. Um, yes, we wanted a more regal dead Carl, so we have that. Uh, and you wanted a boop one, so we have a boop one. Uh, and I brought back Fluff Yourself for now, just because there was a space. So we've got Fluff Yourself. Uh, but they will be changed for tomorrow or something. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Ruth, you've injured yourself, and I, and I bet you were sober too. If it was at work, you. Uh, moral of the story: Don't be sober. You do yourself more injuries if you're sober. Uh, hello, Chesmay Grandam. You have indeed arrived. Um, and good morning, Yvonne. Hello, Kyle. How's the weather? Shit, is the short answer. Uh, I'm down south, so we don't have it as bad as, as all of these, uh, all of the flooding and everything up in Scotland. Uh, but I have to say, it's pretty crap down here. It's like the, the rain is like someone turns on a tap. Yeah. Um, but then it's OK. We live on the top of a hill. So if anything's going to get biblical, we're, you know, we're going to get a good warning. Uh, slay, Paula, slay. Uh, or do I need to call you Bongo? I'm not sure. Um, anyway, uh, Chloe, you have a question. What's the issue with the seance? Uh, 
The, it was it was scheduled for this and it was indeed for ages. The basic problem is, Chloe, if, if the human was going to tell you what the problem was, the human would say that she girl bossed too close to the sun uh, and she's overstretched herself in trying to achieve fabulousness for everybody. Um, however, if I was going to say it, I was going to say the human... <laughs> The human has failed to comprehend how limited her skills and time are. So what it's come down to, Chloe, is the human doesn't have time to do everything. Uh, and if we're going to do the seance and let dead Carl be able to speak for a live, uh, she'd like to do it properly. So in order to do that, we're going to put it off for a bit and do it right. Um, so yeah, so you've got me. Uh, and if, if you think that sounds lame... Oh, well, it's got to take it up with the human. Yeah. Uh, hello, Mr. Werewolf, dude. Apple user, you're in Scotland. All you've got is some rain clouds. You, you, human, what's with your finger? <laughs> <laughs> My God, human, that was terrifying. Just have your finger suddenly appear. Um, it is spooky, is it, Chloe? The, the other thing the human has noticed is she had all these ideas for spooky season and then she's like, well, that's not that different to what we do most of the time. Like, you know, if one of, <laughs> if one of your friends happens to be a corpse, like poor dead Carl, then I, I mean, like every month is spooky month. <laughs> so the human did kind of feel it didn't necessarily have to be Halloween-ish. Um, so yeah, there we are. Uh, Philip, you're sorry about what you said on Skip's post? Too late. Too late, Philip. And you weren't the only one. Was he, Ruth? Hmm? Hmm? You know what I'm talking about. Anyway, that's fine. As Kure would say, always find it in your heart to forgive, but never forget that fucker's name. Just saying. Um... <laughs> <laughs> you love me, Ruth. Too little, too little, too late. <laughs> uh, Yvonne, rainy there. Uh, rainy, rainy. Emma, the weather is lovely and sunny. My goodness. Uh, anyway, everybody, I'm really behind with the messages, which is not a surprise. You were loyal, Chloe, you were. For, for now you are. <laughs> I, don't get me wrong, I know I'm not your favourite. Uh, Yvonne, we can indeed do the seance in November or December. Like I say, the human, human wanted to do it right. You know, she wants, now that we've had, we had the special effects of last week's uh, live, um, we had the special effects of a, you know, a bit of cardboard and a bit of sellotape. The human wants to up the game. That's what she wants. Uh, so for the, if we're going to do a, um, if we're going to do a seance, we might have a different coloured piece of card or something. I don't know. I don't know. Right. Anyway. Hello, Kaluna. I'm behind with the messages. I'm just getting up. I'm just getting up. Just getting up. Just getting up to date. Just getting up to date. Here we go. Uh, let's do the sounds on Christmas Day. <laughs> it's what baby Jesus would have wanted. Um, actually, Christmas uh, Christmas falls a bit awkward for scheduled lives. I don't know. I don't know quite how we're going to do that. Let's let's not worry about Christmas yet. See, human. This this is why you can't keep on top of things because you're already like oh Christmas bonfire. Blah, 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 blah. No, just focus, focus. We're, I'm good at focusing. I never get sidetracked. Never get sidetracked. So, anyway, <laughs> anyway, uh, Miss Susie, it wasn't on Skip's live, it was on one of Skip's videos. Some people weren't uh, entirely complimentary about my turban, although to be fair, a lot of you weren't very complimentary while I was actually wearing the turban. I mean, you, you, you took the piss to my face, I'll give you that. <laughs> um, 
Paula, you feel like you missed something? Are you not stalking me hard enough? Uh, always, Paula. <laughs> Quite often, Paula, you know things are going to happen before I do. <laughs> um, <laughs> but I'm not sure what in particular that was in reference to. Is that in reference to the seance? Um, basically, I, I did publish it uh, in a newsletter at the start of the month that we planned on having a seance. Um, and now we're postponing it, if that's what it was about. Um, Carl Fog Machine. <laughs> well, it's funny you should say that. The human's father did have some ideas for how we could be atmospheric. And basically his idea was just, you know, open flame right near all of us uh, highly flammable beings. <laughs> human shut that idea down quite, quite a bit. She didn't think that was a good idea. We'll be aflame. She'll be coughing her lungs up. It'll, t t t you know, that's some hell of special effects. Yeah. So, Anachronista, welcome. Uh, I'm behind with the message, so I'm getting up. Um, Christmas Eve is on a Monday. C Christmas is on a Monday. So it's Doom Room on Christmas Eve. Well, Chloe, you're a real slave driver, aren't you? <laughs> Heaven forbid we get Christmas Eve off. <laughs> hello to Adil Wagwan. Uh, hello to Alice. Hi. Uh, I am indeed dapper. I'm dapper in any shirt, anachronista, always. Um, no days off ever. I have to say the human... Uh, <laughs> Human is feeling kind of like that. Uh, oh, Paula, it was in reference to the skip thing. Um, <laughs> it was skip. <laughs> skip posted um, him in his turban with me in my turban. You know, the one that everyone said looked like I just got out of the shower. And a few people, like Ruth and Philip, implied that... Um, my turban was not up to mustard. Not up to mustard? Didn't cut the mustard. Not up to spec. <laughs> I don't know, lo lots of other mixed metaphors too. But that, yeah, right. Uh, Mr. Bowell, do you, the charity shop where you work? So they could open Christmas Day. What? What? Uh, Anachronista, you're going to riot. It, it's just postponed. Guys, 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 guys. Chill. Be chill. Everyone be chill. Everyone be chill. It's just postponed. Just postponed so we can do it right. So we can do it right. Yeah. Uh, hi, Mas. How am I so far behind with these messages? Paula thinks we need to do the sounds in a creepy pub. I, I feel like that would not be conducive to working. Concentrating, rather. Yeah. Right. Uh, Transmitter Grandam, why is everyone so into Christmas already? Oh, I'll be honest, right? This is, this is my... This is what I've inherited from the human as my thing about Christmas, okay? The human finds that from about the start of December until a couple of days before Christmas, very exciting. She gets it in her head that she's going to make all sorts of Christmassy stuff. You know, Christmas cards and Christmas decorations and food and planning food and fuck knows what. And she really, really loves it. For like three weeks of December, she is fucking Mrs. Christmas herself. And then she remembers from all Christmases past that Christmas is actually a bit shit. <laughs> It's all <laughs> arguments and work and some fuckers never happy and trying to keep people happy and lots of washing up, even, even if you've got a dishwasher, even if you've got a dishwasher, they're still washing up and it, it's just, it's just work. So yeah, there's, there's, uh, there's Christmas in a nutshell. So basically that, that's why I don't really resent anyone who says they love Christmas I, I'm either in they're, they're either in two stages they're either in complete denial like my human is 
for a couple of weeks of the year, or they don't have to do any of their fucking work, which means they're either, you know, younger than 10, or they're a man. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't, <laughs> I don't really mean that. I don't, I, I don't really mean that. <laughs> That's just what I've observed in my short time <laughs> on this planet. <laughs> Anyway, I'm so far behind with the messages, guys. Uh, hello, nosy neighbour. Hey, Josh. Hello. Hello. So, right. Um, so, 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 I think, I think that's all taken care of that. Uh, uh, skip, skip, no problem with the post, no problem with the turban. Just to be clear, I was just a little hurt at the way some people are so quick to throw me under a bus, Ruth. <laughs> just saying. Uh, hello, Lewis. How is the human's mum? Lewis, she's just fine. Now, no, 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 no. calm down, okay? Uh, hello, Zara. Zara, I'm really behind with the messages. I know that will shock you to your very core. Um, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try and get up to date with the messages. I'm gonna try and get up to date. <laughs> try, 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 try. Uh, Anachronista. Christmas planning starts in July. I know, right? Right. Okay. So this is another thing. The human very much feels that. The human very, very, very much wants to get ahead of the game. The human very much doesn't. I think, I think we can appreciate this part of the human's personality from every Sunday when no, none of us are more surprised than she is herself that she has an escape room. So imagine what she's like when it comes to Christmas. Yeah. Um, I know, Sarah, I'm never behind with the messages. I'm always up to date. Always up to date. Always. Uh, Yvonne, you like the idea of Christmas. I know, right? I know. Uh, Transmatic Grandland, you get it, but it's October. I, it's because we started talking about lives and forward planning uh, and trying to figure out what we're going to do when, I think. Yeah. So. So. <laughs> let's try and catch up to date. Um... <laughs> Ham, ribs and soup. No hard work required. Emma, I like your style. I like your style. Um, right, I'm behind with the message, so I'm going to try and catch up to date. Try and get up to date. Uh, the, I still haven't told them all, the human's mother about Harrison Ford. Okay. But I do I do have a, a story. You'll, you'll see the connection when I start telling you. Okay, so um, there's human, human nephew, human father, our father, uh, and they're talking, and the human father is like, "Oh, I don't, I don't know any celebrities anymore," you know, and you know, human has sympathy with that. You get a bit older, and so the human's nephew is just like, "Well, surely you can name one celebrity," and the human's father thinks, and he thinks, and he thinks. And then he comes up with one, John Wayne. And the human is like, he's, he's, not, he's not a fan of John Wayne. Just like, why the fuck John Wayne? I, I don't know, like a lightning bolt. And the human is like, oh Christ, okay, now name one that's alive. And so human father thinks again. And then he says, Sean Connery. And human is like, oh fuck, okay. Now again, name one that's alive. And this then sparks a 15 minute conversation of how Sean Connery is dead, <laughs> which then, <laughs> which then for reasons that the human is still baffled about, the only other celebrity the human father seems to be able to name is Elizabeth Montgomery, who I believed was Sam in Bewitched, like absolutely fuck knows where that came from. Uh, and, and sadly, she is also dead. May all of these people rest in peace. Um, <laughs> so it turned out that, to be fair, Human's father was absolutely right. He can't seem to name any celebrities. 
There we go. You can, and now this connects up because as an example, the human said Harrison Ford. So there we go. That's, that's that. Bonfire night is on a Sunday. A Guy Fawkes themed doom room. Jesus Christ, Chloe. A, a, you know, as they say, stuff will rub up my ass and I'll sweep the floor as I go. What, what do you, what do you want from me? What do you want from me? <laughs> uh, so I'm still not, not up to date with the messages, but as they said, try, 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 uh, and then give up. Hello, Froggis. Welcome, Froggis. Um... <laughs> Avon, I'm with you. If you if you decorate too much, then they won't be taken down. It's the worst bid. Christmas decorations come down. Everything looks so bare, nasty. Um, Christmas shit is already in the shops. Transmitter grand down. It is a bit like that over here, but at, at least we do sort of get Halloween out of the way. Then the second Christmas is done. It's Easter eggs. Um, Let's let's let's. I tell you what. If if you're if some of you aren't coping with talking about Christmas, let's let's not mention Easter. Yeah, yeah. Um. Cl Cl Chloe, what? <laughs> Chloe, have you just burnt the human? <laughs> Ouch. Oh, Ruth, way to break it to you that Sean Connery is dead. Yeah. Could have, could have sugarcoated it, shouldn't it? Couldn't I? Should have. Oh, Yvonne, she passed away. Yet. Really? Really? <laughs> wow. Um. <laughs> wow. <I'm laughs> so many of you didn't know that Sean Connery was dead. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, apologies. <laughs> Miss Susie, have I just doomed Harrison Ford? Quite possibly. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Dear, oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> um, Apple user, is Chloe the true mastermind of this channel? Uh, no, ap Apple user, here's how it goes, okay, okay. Hume is down the bottom. She, she's just following orders. Uh, then in some sort of order, there's all of us uh, with me at the top. Then then just above me, almost like a, a, a an angel on my shoulder, is Chloe, who's, who's just constantly trying to tell me to do whatever it is she wants me to do. And then on the other shoulder over here, I've got a little devil called Paula who I'm I'm sure is just playing her own game with us. But that's kind of how it goes, Apple user. That's that's our hierarchy, okay? The human can plan and do whatever the fuck she thinks she she wants to do. Uh but we all know her her opinion doesn't matter. So there we go. Just just so you're clear. Just so you're clear on how how things work. Uh ultimately I'm in charge. Yeah. Um, yes, anachronist, I know. Turns out, um, yeah. Well, I mean, Emma Brown, you say it's old news. I thought it was old news. <laughs> Apparently I'm, I'm wrong. <laughs> Chloe, you think it's, it's a devil and a demon? <laughs> well, Chloe, I mean, even, uh, even Satan was an angel once, right? <laughs> Boy, you did indeed hear your name. Uh, I hope you were fully aware of the context as well. Yeah. Uh, Apple user, I feel like you're just complimentary, complimentary chaos. Um, I See, I'd like to decorate for Halloween. I'd like Halloween to be our new Christmas. But I, Halloween has definitely gotten bigger over here in the UK. But I think we can try harder. Yeah. Um, Harrison Ford and John Travolta visit your city to renew their helicopter licenses. Oh my God! Well, if we have just jinxed Harrison Ford, then he's he's going to die in a helicopter crash with John Travolta. With who? 
<laughs> yeah. Uh, and while we're at it, Kirsty Alley is dead. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Werewolf, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Why is there a poll going? What is that? <laughs> Who wore the turban better? I, I, guys, guys, guys. It's okay, my ego can stand creative criticism. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's that's true, Skip. Tried to make uh, Halloween Christmas and we saw what happened. I like it. Hello, Siren. Yes, you you have called me. I am here. Uh, and I'm usually here at this time. <laughs> um, hello, Annabelle. We both wore the... Whoa! Yeehaw! Thanks, Frogus. That breaks it up, right? Um... Uh, serious, seriously, guys, the, the, we we can we can drop the turban. I I haven't started this. I I was <laughs> I wasn't even going to mention. Whoa. Um, I don't know what I should say for that, but thank you. Um. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Fine. Yeehaw! Indeed. What's the matter, Frogus? Was I not giving it enough energy? Did you did you want me to scream it? As if it's my safe word or something. Is that what you want? More elegant than any pumpkin. Wow. I mean, there's uh, there's compliments and then there's whatever the fuck that is. <laughs> More elegant than a pumpkin. <laughs> yeah, human. You're jealous, right? <laughs> no one's ever told you that. <laughs> More elegant than a pumpkin. Um, <laughs> yes, Frogis. Don't don't make me <laughs> don't make me scream yeehaw anymore. Anyway, some fancy velvet pumpkins. There are a lot of velvet pumpkins around. Shall I tell you what else there is around this year? White pumpkins. When was this a thing? Seriously, when was this a thing? I I know Chloe. Up to date. I won't be for long. Hello, Barkley. Hey, Chris. Hey, up. Uh, Mr. Well, dude, I know it's, I know, I know it's a compliment. I know, I know. Um, <laughs> Clooney, you liked the turban. Why, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Kaluna. <laughs> uh, Siren, welcome to minimalism. I mean, sure, as a form, it's nice. But, um, like, I, I don't know. Like, why now? <laughs> Discuss. <laughs> I think it's one of those things that I'm like, wow, I didn't know I had an opinion on pumpkins, but I find white ones very strange. There we go. Well, welcome. <laughs> welcome to Middle Aged Musings with Zula. Um, oh, Chloe says white and green pumpkins have always been a thing. Not for me, they haven't. About ten years ago, and now can Well, at least I knew Sean Connery was dead. I, I, I still consider myself ahead of the game in that sense. Right. Um, okay. Uh, trust my granddad every time you think of Pavlov's dog. <laughs> um, I, <laughs> I think talking about having it as a safe word and your use of the little... Uh, water droplets emoji is <laughs> it's quite poorly timed, but never mind. <laughs> um, okay, so it turns out literally everybody, literally everyone is familiar with white pumpkins except me. <laughs> literally everyone. Well, that's taught me, hasn't it? <laughs> All eight votes are in. Right, okay. okay. Results. T take a look at who it is. <laughs> who it is who voted against you. Oh, I see. I see. Like Kure says, always forgive, but never forget their names. Um. 
So, <sighs> White Pumpkins have existed forever. White Pumpkins. Okay. Oh, Yvonne, do they mean anything? Teal ones are a symbol for allergy-friendly treats. I do, I do not know. Yvonne, it's a whole new thing for me. Wait and let all of these people who know all about white pumpkins, and they've been around for fucking ever, wait for them to tell us, Yvonne. We'll, we'll just wait. Are the white pumpkins ghost pumpkins? Miss Susie, I'd like that. I'd like that. I'd like that. So, oh, do you think it's sip time? I think it's sip time. The human's only got um, uh, squish. So, uh, so I'm going to let the human take a sip and then I'll get back up to date with the messages again and see what that poll is now. Sip time. Right. There we go. Squish. Yeah, oh, oh right. OK. I mean, squash. You know how some families do things where they say uh, a word because, you know, there's probably some cute reason why, like when they were very small, they said it or by mistake, they said it. Well, squish is one of those things. So sometimes I, I don't know why. I don't know who called it squish, a, a niece, a nephew, uh, maybe the human herself when she was tiny. I, it's lost in time. But yes, squish. The other one is uh, uh, obviously, you know, quite big fans of Star Wars. Human's father once trying to remember the name of Boba Fett. I uh, could only remember Bobo. So now every time, you know, when you're trying to be quite serious discussing Star Wars, and all you can think of is Bobo. So yeah, that's Squish is just one of those things. Okay. So <laughs> Transmitter Granum, all the most appropriate time I'll let you have that one. Yeah. Um Right. So, <laughs> uh, thank you for the sub music, by the way. Yes. <laughs> Do we need a white pumpkin sticker? I think we might, uh, Miss Susie. Yes, maybe. Maybe we'll have a white pumpkin sticker. And now, can you see you do the squish too? Right. Good. Good. Oh, transmitted granddad and white pumpkin can mean the loss of a child in the house. Oh, certainly is that in bad taste to have a white pumpkin sticker? Uh, yeah, no, let's have a white pumpkin. And what is the poll about? How would you classify Chloe? <laughs> yeah. Um... Knights of Prime, you're having a bad day. Any chance of cheering you up? Well, I, you know, I could give you a platitude like, um, uh, you know, always be yourself. But invariably, that's how you got in the shit in the first place. Or I could try, uh, like, sometimes when one door closes, another opens. But in reality, sometimes when one door closes, you have to nail that fucker shut. Um... Uh, is any of that doing the trick? I hope so. You can't beat a nice shitty platitude. Uh, Emma, where do I stand on ghosts? If I ever see one, I'm running in the opposite direction fast as I fucking can. Um, the only ghost I really like is the BBC show. In oh, uh, did, you, did you mean that, actually? <laughs> I don't know, but that's cool. Uh, yeah. Anyway... I've lost track of what even I'm talking about. Um, ah, Miss Susie, you've got a life joke. That's your thing. Like squish. Yeah. Uh, clearly you've never heard that about the white pumpkins. Okay, well that's fine. We'll have a white pumpkin sticker for next week then. That'll be cool. Um... Apple user, when in doubt, what would Raz do? Jesus Christ, there's going to be a rampage. Yeah. Um, <laughs> have we? Have you ever carved a turnip? Because they look like shrunken heads. 
No, Kaluna. Does it just so happen that we have a turnip in the fridge? Human, don't look at me like that. I, <laughs> I know that you want to use it in a dinner. <laughs> I know you want to cook it and eat it. But we could carve it. We could carve the turnip. And it's like a shrunken head. Can't we do that with just a bit of it? <laughs> How about I get half a turnip, you have half a turnip? Come on. You can't say further than that. Uh, Chloe, you are an agent of chaos. Some people said angel. They must be in the satanic sense. Um, would I stay in a haunted house for a million pounds for one night? Yes. Show me the house. Give me the money. Simples. Uh, Emma, you didn't mean ghosts generally, but you love the TV show. It's a great TV show, right? Right? Um, I have never seen a ghost. Uh, I find that usually that sort of stuff is, oh, you know, hair in the corner of my eye or stuff like that. Never really had a spooky experience. Um, human did go to a, quote, haunted house with some friends once. Uh... And while they were all standing there going, oh, this room feels so cold. Oh, you can, it feels so cold. The human was like, yeah, this was basically a medieval fucking fridge. Of course it feels cold. They built it so that it faced that way and so that it stayed cold. Like get a fucking grip. Yeah. She didn't say it quite like that. She didn't share her thoughts. She didn't want to. She didn't want to kill the vibe. <laughs> but, yeah, moving on. <laughs> Nobody ever knows who I'm talking about, Froggis. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> Turnip carving, you haven't done that since primary school, Ace. But you mean you have done that? I, I feel like I really, when I came to this planet, I really picked the wrong fucking human. White pumpkins, turnip carving, fucking hell. You live under a rock, human. How am I supposed to learn all about your varied species and planet when you haven't even carved a turnip? You haven't lived. Hang your head in shame. I have to say... Carving the turnip does sound like a bit of a euphemism. <laughs> Excuse me, I've just got to go carve the turnip. <laughs> I have a feeling that some of us aren't going to be so keen to carve turnips now. <laughs> They can be quite difficult to carve. I think they are a firmer texture than a pumpkin, Kaluna, yeah. Um, sharp knives and plenty of plasters to stick on your fingers. Uh, do ghosts exist on my planet, Anachronist? And no, because we're not all primitive weirdos. Primitive, superstitious, gah. We're, <laughs> we're scientific and we, we don't have time for any of this... Uh, any of this silliness? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Miss Susie too, turnip lanterns. This is well and truly a thing. And Yvonne in Holland carving turnips. Human, human. Car carving turnips, white pumpkins. Uh, Chloe, you'd find it scary if Bletton did a takeover? Hmm, noted. Didn't a ghost appear on the live ones? Yes. <laughs> Actually, Mr. Werewolf, dude, that is true. That's a really good point. Yes, we did have a ghost appear on the live ones. <laughs> um... I mean, I didn't know that this was going to turn into a pumpkin car, per, oh, fuck it, turnip carving live. Uh, but there we go. 
Um, who knew? Um, that makes you want to do it more, Anachronista. You devil. Uh, oh, top tip for you there, Kaluna. Microwave the turnip a little bit first. <laughs> It is still very much a euphemism, though. <laughs> Philip hates turnips. <laughs> Emma, they're like you, Scots. They're more rugged. They can take more. God damn it. Bring it on. That wasn't even a scratch. Yeah. <laughs> direction I did not know was going to happen. To be honest, I didn't know it was going to happen. Uh, Kaluna, you can bet your ass I'm going to be googling carved turnips after this. Um, <laughs> I hope it's, I hope it's not a euphemism. <laughs> um, anyway, anyway, <laughs> Uh, hello, Rosie, who says lol. Welcome. Um, uh, anyway, uh, do we need to discuss any carving any other veg? Or, or can we just move on? Not that I know what we're moving on to. Um, <laughs> carve turnips and have a shandy. Watermelon and cantaloupe. Oh. Now we're getting, now exotic. Now we're getting exotic. Uh, Transmitting Grandam has to go. Farewell. Uh, I hope it's not too traumatic drama. Dramatic, yes. Traumatic, no. Uh, Apple user, you carved an orange. I, do you know, I, I am very, uh, I have very little experience of the vegetable carving world. I, I feel, um, I feel let down, actually, let down that the human has denied me uh, this key experience. <laughs> Emma, you hate mushrooms, disgust. You hate mushrooms? Mushrooms have to be like the top vegetable, although carrots are good. But mushrooms, they're so versatile and they can be all sort of um, 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 meaty. And they can be like a, a, a vessel for other flavours. Or they can be a flavour in and of themselves. Although I, I can see how they do have a kind of funny texture. And if that's not your thing, that's not your thing. So, yeah. Paula, you've just tried to give your cat a pill. <laughs> Is it too early for wine? <laughs> Paula, No. Even, even with the time difference, even fully acknowledging that, no. Not if you've just tried to wrestle a pill into your cat. Uh, which also now sounds like another euphemism. But <laughs> we need to collect some non-euphemisms, don't you? Oh, Miss Susie, this is a whole other can of worms now. What you thought was a turnip is a swede? Oh, don't. One is a swede and a turnip and a, and oh my goodness, I don't think we can do that. No, no, I'm not prepared to enter into that debate. Um, wouldn't an orange be flimsy? Not if it's a really ripe orange. I mean, I, I don't, I don't know. It, it, I, do you know what? I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. How many people hate mushrooms? What's wrong with you all? Are you all weirdos. Mushrooms are not a ve oh, oh, Paula, mushrooms are not a vegetable. They're a fungus. <sighs> Go and get some wine, Paula. <laughs> Has anyone carved a mushroom for Halloween? <laughs> uh, yes, Miss Susie, you heard what I said. I'm nom 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 meaty. Um, anyway, <laughs> anyway, 
<laughs> my goodness so first of all well white pumpkins are a thing uh everybody's carved a turnip except me uh and i'm weird for liking mushrooms so much right right um <laughs> Ginger Nuts, you've seen a <laughs> you've seen a <laughs> you've seen a video where someone carved mushrooms. Of course you have, of course <laughs> you have. <laughs> I mean, I've been told not to play with my dinner, but <laughs> but I've never tried to carve it first. <laughs> um, Lewis, please leave the human's mother alone, please, please. Um. Oh goodness, a Swede and a Swede. No, 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 a Swede is a Swedish person, but there's a Swede. A Swede and a turnip. And what's the difference between a Swede and a turnip? What, seriously, what's the, what's the difference? What's the difference between a Swede and a turnip? It's, it's the really tough questions. Mr. Werewolf, do you like mushrooms? Thank you. High five. Yes. Um. Oh, Miss Susie, very exotic pomegranate carving. Um. Aubergines and courgettes and oh let's skip let's not even let's not let's not even get into eggplants and zucchinis <laughs> I, I don't think we have time to bring linguistic things into this sock monkey stop with the tutus did you not they were like little ghost faces in a stew i mean i have to say i'm quite intrigued now intrigued um Uh, anachronista, I, I have to say anachronista, having um, aversions to different textures, I totally understand that. Um, but if I was ever going to scream at, at you all humans collectively, the list would be long and varied. I mean, <laughs> seriously, pineapples are not mushrooms, I can't argue with you, Paula, I cannot argue with you. Um, and only one of them belongs on pizzas. Aha! No, let's not. Let's not. Let's not open that. Hello, <laughs> hello, Lee. You'll be shaping. You'll be carving, shaping a gourd, will you? <laughs> will you now? <laughs> Miss Susie, you liked nom 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 meaty, did you? Did you? Hello, Basildon. <laughs> You've waded in. <laughs> You've waded straight into the debate. Turnips around her. Chloe says Swedes are bigger. Right. Can I carve a Swede? Only if they can scent, Froggis. Only if. Whoa! Yeehaw! Yeehaw! How's how's that? Less safe word, more climax. Anyway, let's 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 not. Java cakes are also not mushrooms, Paula. We don't need to, we don't need to poke that bear either. Come on. Um, uh, oh, Miss Susie, turnips have purpley skin. And turn orange? They do have a bit of purple, but s Swedes are orangey, aren't they? And a turnip is white. Do you know? Do you know what is fine? It's fine. Bears are also not mushrooms, Paula. Absolutely, absolutely accurate, uh, especially taxidermied ones. Yes. Um, Anachronist to have us in the lives of people are NPCs. Yes. There's the one where she floats, very ethereal. You know, she she's really creepy. You know, as someone who doesn't like dolls because they creep me out. I find that very disturbing. Yeah. Oh, hello, Nikki. Hello, Nikki. Um, Basildon, you don't think you've ever had a turnip that wasn't in a stew? That is the name of your autobiography right there. You're welcome. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yes, 
Yeah, Kaluna are sweets available in the US. <laughs> Sounds like you're human trafficking. <laughs> And how Christy, you love dolls, but that creeps you out? Okay. Uh, speaking of mushrooms, is Kure enjoying her holiday? Uh, by the way, uh, you can follow me on Patreon, where you will find uh, that Kure has been taking a break. Yeah. Uh, and um, the the you know how on Patreon you get you can sign up for free. Uh, or you can sign up for one of the other tiers. But once a month, there's a special themed week. Uh, and this week, it's been, where's Kure? Uh, well, there's only one more day left, guys, patrons. Uh, so if you're not already a patron, go and become a patron and you'll find out what happens. Yeah. Oh, dear. Nikki says that the nun is hunting my place. That makes about as much sense as you ever make, Nikki. <laughs> that's <laughs> that's oh dear Nick, Nikki I can't I can't understand a word Baladon do I have a Patreon I know right uh, and yes Ruth you can now follow me on Instagram which if I'm completely honest the human has not got to grips with yet <laughs> which will, will not be a surprise that's not a fucking newsflash for anyone is it um, but yes, links in my profile. You can follow me on Instagram. You can check out Patreon. You can sign up to my newsletter. You can watch my stuff on YouTube. It's, I just give. I just give, give, give. I am all heart. I'm just throwing myself out there to bring you joy. Not like that, you know. Like at this point, I'm not on OnlyFans. Um... But I don't think we really closed the book on that one, did we, human? <laughs> We're thinking about it. <laughs> We're thinking about it. Uh, yes, Kaluna, download the Patreon app. About a week and a half ago, the Patreon app had a beautiful makeover. You know, not to be too blunt, it was shit. It wasn't good for anybody. But now it's a beautiful, proper, perfect app. It's great. We really like it. So yeah, download the Patreon app. It's cool. Kure is not in witness protection, but it should be. Kure with a litter. Wash your mouth out, Skip. Wash your mouth out. Anyway. Um, right. Baldwin, you better have got a website selling much. It's funny you should say that. Um, and also everybody, time is running out. For you to get the Halloween designs in uh, t-shirts and hoodies. Uh, the designs will change on November the 1st. How many designs do you think? <laughs> How many designs do you think the human has ready? Bear in mind they change on November 1st. How many, how many designs is it we want? We want... How many of us are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... Fuck, seven designs. Oh, human, you're... Is it really seven? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven designs. Human's got to make seven designs. How many do you think she's got done? <laughs> yes, Paula Cure is also not a mushroom. Uh, it's all you want for Christmas is me. It's all anyone wants for Christmas, right? Yeah. Um... <laughs> <laughs> human will have 0 0.5 actually actually chloe actually that's not the answer yeah um <laughs> uh and actually so someone is on only fans as a clown doing naughty things oh i'm scared human i'm scared um <laughs> <laughs> Don't you think doing the lives is a punishment? <laughs> I, I, I can't say the thought hasn't crossed my mind. Yeah. Um, Apple, you, do you think Kure should do a, an escape room as punishment for getting us B-worded? Maybe. 
Uh, Paula says zero. Miss Susie says one. Uh, Anachronous, do you think I'm doing this on time? Dumb luck. Dumb luck. Uh, Clunu says one. Frogger says zero. Anachronous says one. Apple user says half. <laughs> Mr. Werewolf, dude, you're the only optimist here, aren't you? <laughs> I'd like to think that's optimism. <laughs> um <laughs> Oh, thank you, Kaluna. Um Nosy Nobu, you'd like to pet Kure? What do you mean you'd like to pet Kure? Is, is that a, is that another euphemism? Is it? I hope not, I'm not sure. I'm not sure Kure's down with that. <laughs> Hello, Mutu! Where do mansplainers get water? <laughs> oh, well, actually, <laughs> I like that. I like that very much. <laughs> uh, Miss Susie, you're going to use neeps and tatties as a swear? Also works as a euphemism. Ace, you think three? Slightly too optimistic. Oh, oh, slightly too optimistic. Uh, Carl says one to three. Frogish, you want to pet Zelo? I don't think you do. I don't think you do. Um. <laughs> I'm going to tell you now that the human actually has one design already done. One. We don't have any content for next week, either <laughs> for any platform. <laughs> Not not TikTok, not Insta, not not YouTube, and not Patreon. But we do have one T-shirt design, <laughs> and you wonder why this isn't uh, why this isn't a seance this week. Seriously, um, uh, oh, human, you almost blocked Chloe. Then, so careful with your pokey finger. Be delicate. Um, Anachronist, you'd like to have a pangalactic gargle blaster with Kure? I cannot believe I said that all perfectly. Yeah. Um, pet, 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 Kure, pet, Kure, pet, t, t, pet, Kure. Right. Yes, one one design already done. Blimey, indeed. Um. <laughs> I know. I know, Chloe. You were very lucky you didn't accidentally get blocked. Then, um, the one T-shirt design to remove. Actually, the T-shirt design she has ready is a Kure one. It would work if it was a Raz one. But yeah, we only have one at the moment. Nikki, you want to be poked by the human? <laughs> I don't think you would. Seriously. Come on. Come on. Come on now. Um uh, Kyle, I'm with you. I I think they'd uh, I think they'd lose a hand. At the very least. I'm not sure they'd live to tell the tale, frankly. Um How many signs would the human have done? Uh, so <laughs> the vast majority of you <laughs> have have little, <laughs> very low opinion. I have to say, I <laughs> I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. Um, Apple user, why is this your life? Wow, Apple <laughs> Apple user, ouch. <laughs> um. And I just don't. But whoa, whoa, N N Nikki, Nikki, you're you're straying into, you're straying into alternative territory now. <laughs> um, <laughs> I know, Kaluna. Why any of you odd ducks? You often make me think something similar, but I've never thought of you all as odd ducks. <laughs> that sounds that's so adorably. <laughs> 
<laughs> so adorably cute. I'll have to remember. I hope Raz remembers. I'll have to tell Raz for tomorrow. <laughs> when you when when they inevitably go chaotic, Raz. Okay, Raz. And they're they're driving you crazy, Raz. Remember to say, oh, what a bunch of odd ducks. What a bunch of odd little ducks. Quackety quack, cute little odd ducks. I really hope Raz remembers for tomorrow. Um, uh, Apple you do think Raz is better than me? Well, I'm not going to say who I think is better than you, Apple user, because I'm too polite. Um, anyway. <laughs> anyway, everyone, I think I'm going to wrap this live up. Uh, turns out I've got to... I've got to go and carve a turnip. <laughs> and I'll leave that up to you to decide whether that's a euphemism or not. <laughs> I can't think of a more appropriate point to end it. Um, thank you, everybody, for all the gifts you've been sending me all through the live. Um, I, I, I haven't said thank you. I, sh I should pause and say thank you more than I do. Um, but thank you very much, everybody. Uh, especially all the lovely, cute little ducklings. Um, uh, thank you to all my subs as well. Um, don't forget you can join me on Patreon, uh, where you don't have to subscribe. You can, but you don't have to. But you can, but you don't have to. Uh, and you can follow me on Insta and YouTube as well. So please, everybody, go... <laughs> Carve whatever you've got to carve. <laughs> uh, and you can, here comes the finger of doom, I'm afraid. Uh, and don't forget to join Raz tomorrow for another escape room, same time. Uh, and in the meantime, happy carving. <laughs> don't do too much though or you'll go blind. Uh, enjoy the rest of your Saturday. Uh, farewell, everybody. Farewell.